Hey guys, Connor Yacobels here for PC TV Reports at the 2018 Kimball Arts Festival. I've been walking up and down Main Street talking to some of the artists, seeing the artwork. So let's go on Main Street and see what they're all about. Hi, my name is Jennifer Lashbrook. I'm here in Park City from Dallas, Texas. I create my paintings from paint swatches from the hardware store. So I collect these paint swatches and I recycle them by doing pixelated portraits or familiar imagery. So when viewed through a cell phone camera, the cell phone creates distance. You see them way more clearly than your eyes do when you see them in person because the, ch the phone is changing your focal depth. Gestalt psychology, your brain fills in the little detail you get by what's familiar to you. And then vision plays a big role in my art as well. So people who are nearsighted see it more clearly than people with great vision. So it's all recycled. It's, um, you can catch my work um, on the TV show Empire on Fox on Wednesdays. It's also about to be on a new movie called Beats on Netflix and I'm featured on Forbes Top 60 Contemporary Artist as well. I create custom pieces as well as the, the art you see here. You can check my website out, it's jenniferlashbrook.com. I call them swatch paintings, but it's paper collage. And I have galleries all around the country, uh, Key West, uh, Los Gatos, Dallas, Chicago, and who knows where else next? Oh, my name is Guy Um This is my 43rd year doing this I do the bronze sculptures, and this is my first aluminum cast. I did an oil painting. So uh, I love, I haven't found nothing that gives me more pleasure than to do this. Um, I show in several different galleries right now. Uh, I'm a region from South America. This is my 14 year or 15 years doing this uh, Park City, the Kimball Art Center show and I love it, and this is one of my favorite cities. I go all over the United States, I do about one show, I go from California all the way to New York, Connecticut, Chicago, Minneapolis, uh, Florida, and, and uh, as you see, all my people, I use no feature in their faces. That's the main aspect of my work. I don't want to talk about differences, and I believe art to be one of the universal languages, so that's what I want to keep it that way. I want my main work is about unity, and I love people, especially when they are together. Hi, I'm Rowena Montoya, and I'm the owner of Julianne Carmels. So I named my company Julianne Carmels because my mother passed away when I was about 15. I went to live with an uncle, and his wife was very instrumental in my life. So and her family. So I took her name and her sister's name, who I'm love and started making, it's their recipe, started making caramels and called my company Julianne Caramels and that's why it's Julianne Caramels. So we do over 40 different types of caramel. We puree real fruit into it, there's no preservatives and I, there's just some fun things that we've come up with like our pineapple habanero if you love spicy and it's very layered in the flavors so first you'll taste the butter and cream of the, of the caramel and then next will come up the pineapple and then all of a sudden you get that kick in the back of your throat and you're like oh no it's hot, it's hot and that's exactly what happens when you have it. So it's fun on the palate, something just a little different. So I've taken a family recipe, pureed real fruit into it, did really fun things with it, and just kept it as pure as I could. So you can go to our website, it's juliannecarmels.com, or you can find us at all the Harmon stores. Harmon's is great to support local, and um, we sell to The Store, which is also another local great store to buy at. Um, and we also, we're right in Sandy, that's where the factory is. Thank you so much to all of the artists that gave us interviews. You guys were absolutely fantastic, spectacular, 10 kinds of awesome. Make sure to put the 2019 Kimball Arts Festival on your calendar right now. You do not want to miss it. That's going to be it for me here at the 2018 Kimball Arts Festival. And back to you guys at the studio.